Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Kenzu Easy Vest one year later review to give you guys all the information on what the Kenzu Easy Vest is like now so you can decide whether it's a product you want to buy. The previous video that I made on this, which was the Kenzu Easy Vest Is It Worth It video, is about eight or nine months old. So I wanted to do a more updated version because the product itself has changed, new products has been added, and there are more products to come in the future that are gonna make the Easy Vest a lot better. However, before we go any further, I do wanna make you guys aware that I do have an affiliation with Kenzu Fitness and there is a link down below that will take you to their website. And if you do go through that, it does help this channel. But if you use the code LDK at checkout, it will actually get you $20 off. I'm saying this now to be upfront and to be honest, but I want you to make you aware that even though I am an affiliate, it's not going to impact my opinion or my review on this product. You're going to get an honest review of the pros and the cons of this product. And like any of the product reviews that I do on Calisthenics Equipment, and I do have a few of them, there is a playlist down below. I will always be upfront and give you an honest review. The reason being is if I'm looking to buy something, I go to YouTube and I want to know the good, the bad and the ugly of that product before I invest my money into it. So with that in mind, I'm going to give you guys the same respect and make sure that you guys have all the information that you need before you invest your money in this product. So I'm just making you guys aware of that. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a one year later review on the Kenzu Easy Vest. So the vest itself has changed quite a lot. It has actually broken down from when I originally bought it in the February last year I think I bought it in the October there were no reviews on the product but when I saw it I knew this was going to be a game changer but the original product there were no reviews or anything like that the original product was what we now call the Kenzu Easy Vest Map there was just the one vest it could hold 100 kilos and it was something that I knew was going to be game changer especially for some exercises where other vests make it impossible or not impossible or the amount of weight you could add was just far exceeds what other vests can do but what they did is because there was once you buy something from Kenzu they invite you to a face group and in that group there are people sharing what they like what they dislike what they would say would make the product better and one of the things that came up was some people were saying that they don't need a vest to hold 100 kilos like they're only going to be using it for going maybe a little bit of like hiking maybe a little bit of running maybe some like circuit training they don't need 100 kilos that's way more than what they need plus what's the point in paying for something that can hold 100 kilos if you're only going to never use it to that capacity they wanted a cheaper lighter version so it then broken down into the kenzu easy vest max and the Kenzu Easy Vest Pro. This is obviously the one without the adapters, and this is with the adapters. As you can see, adapter length a lot shorter compared to that. Obviously, the amount of loading, the different material from it being metal, sort of like fiberglass, I think it was, is going to be different. They changed the product line, and I do have a comparison video between the Kenzu Easy Vest Pro and the Kenzu Easy Vest Max. So if you need more information on the differences between the two, I'll leave a link to it down below or it'll be at the end of the video. But it broke up, okay? Then from that point, they only had the two inch adapter, so if you had Olympic plates, then they upgraded them so they could hold the one inch diameter plates. So for any of you people that don't have Olympic plates or can't get any right now, they do have the one inch adapter ones now, so you can add that on. And I did say in the, in the comparison video, I do think that they should make it so you have the product and then you can choose between the two as opposed to having to pay extra for the thinner plates. Whether that's changed, I have no idea, but that's something I do think would be good. But now people have the access to basically load up those thinner plates that might be cheaper or people just have because they were very, very common back in the day. Then from the actual product itself, it's changed. This is the first one I had. And as you can see, it's still a great product. It's covered in chalk, been used a lot. And obviously at the time I thought, yeah, it's wicked, comfortable. And what's great about this vest compared to other vests is it's fully customizable. So all of these straps on here, you can change to how high you want it, whether you can get it to fit you, the adjustments on the sides, so you can get it to fit perfectly for you, where most other vests, it's one size fits all, you put it on, you just tighten it and just hope it stays. This one you can actually customize to your body shape, which makes it great. Another thing that they've added, which is really important, some people were saying that the real bigger guys were struggling for the straps. You can now get these extra straps that go on it. So if they're a little bit bigger, if you have a bigger chest uh, circumference, they've got these added straps you can put on. So again, it can fit you. So they're trying to make the product better. That's a great thing. And what they've also done as well is they've got these four inch, I think four inch thick pads that you can put on the shoulders. And again, the community was saying how they were using this for heavy loaded hikes and some, things like that. And they're complaining about the pressure on the shoulders. Well, what they've done is they've added these new four inch shoulder pads basically that go inside of the vest that are gonna make the vest a lot more comfortable. So whether you're doing these long loaded walks or you're loading on a large amount of weight, added them on. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm definitely gonna be using it up to the maximum weight, get those extra pads because it's gonna just make it more comfortable and more durable as well. So that's something that you might wanna be aware of. Then we've moved on to what it is now, 
which is what they're talking about it being more premium, which is if you look on the inside, it's leather. So a bit more of a, uh, a quality build. And obviously then you're looking at it, it's a lot thicker as well. So you can see that over the years and even like the webbing and all this sort of stuff just looks thicker, it looks better quality, it looks more sort of rip resistant or whatever it is, it looks better. So that's why maybe if you're looking at that previous video to now, the price has changed. And I think it's because demand has got higher, the cost of products cost more, and obviously the actual quality of the product itself, it, they've improved it. And this is what's great about Kenzu is that they're co constantly innovating their products to make them better and that's why we have new products that are coming about original vest had plastic collars now they've got metal collars which again just makes the quality a bit more premium a bit more quality and it's going to make it a little bit more durable we then got on to a new product that they have which is pretty cool which is the hydro plate and this is something that when they told me about it, I thought this is such a wicked idea and I wish that when they sent this to me they actually sent it to me with the funnel because this was a pain in the ass to fill up but I think the new one comes with a funnel thankfully but this is a wicked idea because when you buy when you buy your vest it will come in a backpack like this okay it will have the adapters in there or have the collars in there and the vest in there great very very portable slink on you can go with these come folded literally take up no room whatsoever stretch them out fill them up with water you get two of them in a pack plus you get this sort of adapter where you would slide it on that gets pressed up against it and then the collar would then tie it on I'll leave a little picture of it to come up so guys this is the hydro plate you slide it on as normal You've got that little plastic adapter there that goes on there so it's got something for the collar to really strict to and then you basically just tighten it up and now you've got a portable weight okay like i said there's your portable weight two of them will hold 35 pounds so you've got one on the front and one will go on the back I think I've seen videos where Remy from Kenzu is like loaded up two somehow. I don't know how it worked with. You could do your workout, then once you're finished, take them off, empty the water, and you're done. But now you've got a portable way of being able to do your weighted calisthenics, which is a great idea. And again, a new product that I think is really, really exciting for this company. Another thing that they've added, they listened to the, the community was they were worried about some people have said the adapter sticking out the front, does it get in the way of doing push-up? And obviously in the video that I talked about this, I said, yeah, it can get in the way if you're doing push-ups. However, if you do them on rings or you do them off a raised box, that's not going to be an issue. Some people were worried if they were doing burpees, they're worried about either doing a short range of motion or dropping under force, the adapter going into their chest. Well, they've come up with a new product, I think it's called the XD Sleeve. I'll leave a clip, a picture of it up again that'll come up. And basically that goes on to the end of the adapter and basically stops that from being a problem. So again, they're looking at how they can make this product even better. So a great thing about this compared to again the previous video is if you look are looking to buy one of these, you've got new things that you can add to it that is gonna make it an even better product. I think the final thing that they've added, which I think is very, very exciting, is a new bumper plate. Some people who maybe do a bit of weightlifting at home, Olympic weightlifting, or maybe they're at a gym, like a CrossFit gym, where they have bumper plates, people were saying they couldn't fit any of them on the max or well, there wasn't enough room to load enough plates so it wasn't possible to load up 100 kilos because their plates were so thick and that's the thing that you have to be aware of is that everyone has different plates some have the plastic ones some have sort of vinyl some have like the big bumper some people have like metal ones and some have like me i've got extra thin sort of like powerlifting plates this is a 10 kilo one so on this one when i got these i think i can actually load four of these on the front adapter because they're so thin okay so i could have loaded probably up to 100 kilos if not more with just 10 kilo plates and then i've also got 20 kilo thin plates so i could probably if i wanted to i could probably load not that i would that'd be really heavy but you could load like maybe three of these or four of these in one go so you could quickly wreck up the weights so it depends on what plates that you have depends on how much you can load and people are asking me this question like i've got these plates will it fit on depends on the thickness i will leave a picture up just now talking about the different loading space because if you have a look at the pro here not a lot the max that much and obviously the bumper one is going to be even longer so you have to measure what your plates are to the loading space that you've got but you've got to leave a little bit i don't know if it's like a, a centimeter or two because you're gonna to have to collar that so you actually got to screw it on on the end to be able to do it so make sure if you are looking at these and you've got certain plates have a look how thick they are measure them compare it to the loading space to even work out whether you should go for the pro or the max as well because you have to work with what you've got right but they're going to be bringing out a bumper plate so again you can load more weights so or if you've got bumper plates you can then put that on so again this product is constantly getting better so like i said compared to the previous video this one has got better from the original to what it is now look i mean you can just look at the difference yeah one's clean and one's newer but 
it just looks like a better quality product. The padding, the material, it just looks like a far better, superior product than what you're getting now. And that's why, why the price is a little bit different. But now let's talk about the actual use of the vest. So after one year of use, what I've definitely realized about this product is where it truly excels compared to other products. So if you don't have a vest in general, exercises like the push-up and the row, you have to start going into more sort of progressive calisthenics, where if you have a vest like this, you literally just got a load on a plate. You're doing set of five, six of ten, whatever your rep range is, once you can do that, basically add more weight on and you can make it more progressive that way, which is really, really great because the inverted row is such a great exercise that some people just see as for beginners or once they can bang out reps for fun, they're like, okay, I won't do it anymore, I'll just do the pull-up. Where this is now going to make the inverted row a lot more progressive is going to allow it people to start really realizing how great the exercise is and actually working on that horizontal pulling is extremely important just for just for you know looking good and having that pulling horizontal pulling power instead of just vertical pulling power but for shoulder health as well we want to be working on that to be able to correct and have a strong rear delt and the rhomboids and everything like that so this makes the row stand out again for the push-up it makes it a lot better you could use a dip belt i've seen clips of that but it's not very comfortable it's not very good and you have to make sure that everything else is elevated otherwise the dip belt hits the floor the problem with the push-up ones with a normal weighted vest is the front sag so it's a one size fits all that you put over and you strap it in and even when you do that when you're doing push-ups it sags it touches the floor so you you kind of have to do them raised otherwise it's going to be constantly touching the floor or the weight that you've added to make it more progressive is in the floor so it, it's a bit of a floor design where if you have something like this which is strapped to you all of the weight you put on you're able to do and again if you're worried about the front adapter getting in the way do them off rings do them off a box or like them you load up the back and just load up the back and then you can do the front one you don't have to worry about this ever again so compared to other vests this makes the inverted row and the push-up a lot better another exercise which it definitely excels in is the handstand push up so for instance if you're doing a handstand push-up i've used other vests before and they literally sag down and come down by your head so it either chokes you off or you can't see what you're doing like it's very very off-putting if you're someone that's doing freestanding ones that is really that movement of the weight because a lot of it times it's a sandbag the idea it kind of sags down it's going to impact your ability to be able to balance where this the weight is centered it's centered right close to you again you've got the adapter and you've got this metal plate which again some people are worried about that on your chest but there is padding behind there all of the weight is centered here or on your back as opposed to it being sagging all over you that it basically has no shape this one is fixed so if you want to pop and do a handstand push-up you haven't got weight that's moving from side to side sagging to one side to the other that's going to impact your ability to do handstand push-ups where normally if you didn't have a vest like this trying to do handstand progressions can be a bit challenging if you go into progressive calisthenics for some people where this is just easier once you can do a certain number add on a weight pop up keep doing your sets until you can add more weight. So the handstand push-up is fantastic. Where we start looking at stuff like leg training, this is great because normally if you're doing sort of leg training, and again, if you're doing sort of not doing barbell stuff, you normally wanna do one-legged stuff just because it just makes it a little bit more challenging. Body weight squats, some people can just bang them out like 50, 100 like rep sets because it's a lot easier where then you wanna start moving into one-legged stuff. But once you start going into one-legged stuff, you'll start using dumbbells or kettlebells or whatever you're using. A lot of the time, your grip will actually give out before your legs do, especially if you're doing one set on one leg and then you want to go straight into the other leg it's a long time you're holding your weights for and because your legs are very very strong sometimes you need some big heavy weights to be able to do that your grip or the ability of what you can hold can then be a limiting factor when it comes to your leg training the other thing as well when you're doing unilateral work especially if you're new to it the balance issue where if you've got your hands free because the weight is here you can now use it to balance to hold on to things whether you're someone that's trying to do pistol squats but you don't have the mobility so you could be using a suspension trainer to hold on to or something to hold on to you can do your pistol squats you can't do that with, without using something like a weighted vest the other thing is compared this to other weighted vests is again you go for the max especially if you get the bumper plate adapter you can load 100 kilos on this i'm not saying you can or a lot of people will but the potential is there where other vests that i've seen i think the heaviest sandbag sort of one that i've seen or one where it has into you know little ones that you can add to i think it was like 40 kilos i think the heaviest plate loaded one i've seen is about 40 kilos those weights you've got can only be used for that vest where if you have something like this this, you can use it on a barbell you can use it on a dumbbell you can use it on a trap bar you can use it for other things other than just the vest which makes if you do get weights for it it makes it more versatile what you're doing as opposed to a plate loaded one or a sandbag one you can only use it for those jobs but for those the limit a lot of times is only 30 40 kilos and if you start going higher especially those plate loaded ones they can get very very expensive where with this you have the capacity of going up to 100 kilos so especially for leg training or doing pistol squats that is a large amount of weight to be using so this compared to other things
things, the amount of weight that you can carry. Okay, so now we've talked about some of the pros, which is the weight you can load on there compared to other vests, the fact that you can customize it to your body so it actually fits you compared to say other vests, the fact it unlocks some exercises like the handstand push-up, the row, the push-up. Again, you can still do pull-ups and dips, exactly the same with that. It makes doing unilateral work. You can load a lot more weight, but now your hands are free for other things. There's plenty of pros for this product. However, what are the cons that you may be thinking about? Well, one of the biggest cons you could say is it's the price. And let's be honest, this is expensive product. But what I would counter that with is how many products do you know that come with a lifetime guarantee? Yes, you're paying a lot of money for just the vest, but this is something that they cover you for for lifetime. So if anything goes wrong with it, I doubt it'll ever will. They'll send you up parts. I think they've talked about why certain bits of this vest is broken down into different parts, because if the adapter then breaks, it's easier for them to then send out new adapters than a whole new vest. If this becomes ripped or shredded, or maybe the Velcro comes off, for whatever reason, they can send you new padding. This product is something that's broken down that makes giving that lifetime warranty so easy for them to be able to do, but because you're investing that amount of money, you've got something that is gonna last you a lifetime. Time. So yes, the price is a con, it's expensive, but you're kind of getting that warranty to kind of back that up. Plus, I would also look at that if you're looking at the cost, yes, it's expensive, you know, especially if you're going for the, the max. I think last time I saw it was like $229. However, I've looked at some of those, I think 511, the CrossFit tactical vests that they use. Some of them literally only weigh 20 kilos, I think, or some of them are like 20 pounds, something like that. It's not a large amount of weight, and they were $100, $200. And I think you then, some of them, you had to then get plates on top of that. And obviously then you're getting those plates. Your limit is only 10, 20 kilos. So this one can go up to 100, but you can't use those weight plates for anything else. Where this you can use, you might not even have to buy any plates because you already go to a gym. So you're not having to worry about that. Or maybe you've already got plates at home because you do a bit of weightlifting. You can then use those plates interchangeably so you don't have to buy separate things. So again, that would be my counter to the price. But I can, I am aware that that's quite a lot of money. You could don't always have to go for the max. You could then go for the pro. And I think the pro was 139 or 149, I think, last time I looked. So there is a cheaper option, especially if you don't need that 100 kilo limit. The other thing is as well, again, price is in some cases to other vests similar, maybe a bit more expensive, but compared to a dip belt, way more expensive. And that's true. You can get a dip belt for but you can get some of them for like 10 20 quid very very cheap you're mainly using this for pull-ups and dips then yeah go for a dip belt it's going to be a lot cheaper than something like this but like i said with all the other pros that you're going to get out of this vest all the different exercises you can do you know you've got to weigh that up for you the other thing we can look at is okay how easy is this thing to use well you've got the vest on and the loading of it is very simple once you got it on like i said you adjust all these straps so it fits perfectly for you you then grab a plate Slide it on, screw up the adapter. Screw it all the way in, obviously, because my plates are so thin, there's still a bit of loading space on there, but obviously normally I would load up another one, and then it loads on and it's locked in, okay? Very, very easy to use. Unspin the collar, take your weight off, adjust it because you're doing different weights between different exercises or sets and things like that. Very, very easy to use, very easy to change the weight. However, if you were someone that was thinking about loading a large amount of weight on there, some people have raised concerns of, well, how do you load the back one up? Because obviously the amount of weight that you can put on is distributed between the front and the back. And again, you don't want to put all of the weight on the front because it naturally will slide a little bit. You want to try and have an even amount of weight on both sides. So one con to it is the fact that to load up the back, you either have to load the weight on first and then pull it over, which again, in my opinion, one of the best things about this vest compared to a normal vest is if you're using a large amount of weight, if you've got a set 30 kilo weight vest and you're then trying to pull that over your head to put it on, you know, it could risk your, your neck or anything like that, or you're basically doing a workout to get it on before you even do your set, where this one, you can put it on and load it up, which makes it a lot safer and a lot easier. But if you're then using the back plate, you then have to take it off and on. And I will say that getting this on and off is easier than a typical vest, just because it, it has a fixed frame. The weight isn't actually like sandbags or anything like that where it can droop and sag and it's hard to pick up and they tend to be quite long. This is actually a very, very small vest, but all of the weight is controlled here. So again, when you're picking it up, you can actually grab it from the front plate to then lift it up over and put it on. And there's a few other videos on it on people actually using it to put on. So it's actually quite easy to do that. However, that is a factor that you may want to pay into, uh, pay attention to. And a few people have asked me like, how do you load up the, the back plate? And a lot of the times I'll actually get the weight vest, load up the back plate and I'll sit in a chair and then I'll then sit in it and then pull the vest over me, put it on, 
strap it, then load up the front if I'm lifting a large amount of weight. Or if you have someone that's near you in a gym or you work at home with someone, keep the vest on and get them to load up the back for you. So that's one thing you want to pay attention to that could be a con in some people's mind. The other thing is as well is the time it actually takes to load up. So for instance, if you've already got the vest on and you've got it on like that, loading up a plate takes no time at all, about the same time as it would to put on a dip belt. However, if you're someone that is doing a large amount of weight and you're putting on plate after plate after plate, or you're having to take it on and off each time, to then load up the back to then put it on. And obviously if you've got a large amount of weight on there, you're doing dips or pull-ups, whatever it is, normally I would, once you finish your set, take it off, okay? If you're doing that with the weighted vest, it can take up a lot of energy or time to be able to constantly take it on and off and load up all the, all the plates. Where, if you're doing a dip belt and you've got two 20 kilo plates, it's very, very quick and very easy to wrap it around you, put the dip belt on, touch it on, do your set, drop down, slide it off you, and it's done and dusted, where this takes a bit more time. And obviously if you've got someone that can load it up for you, that will speed things up. But if not, you're having to take all the plates off, then you have to try and maneuver it off. For some people, that might be an added pain in the ass that they don't want to have to deal with, where they might go, well, you know what, I'm only going to use it for pull-ups and dips, I'll bugger it, I'll just use a dip. So that's something you want to pay attention to. If you are using the bigger weights, it might take a little bit more time or more effort to get the stuff on and on. I will say, compared to a dip belt, doing pull-ups and dips and other exercises is better because if you are going to be using a dip belt, it's swinging, it moves, it's not like fixed to you. Your center of mass is going to change a little bit. How you move your body will change. And obviously if you're using a large amount of weight, if you're having that between your legs, it can constrict down there. If you're a bloke, it is quite painful. Or sometimes the chain or something can pinch into your skin. It can pinch into your hips, which is uncomfortable. And I've used bumper plates as well. And sometimes I actually couldn't get my legs wide enough to have the plates on there to be able to do the weight. Plus if you're doing dips from there it then restricted your range of motion where if you've got the plates here and it's centered and it's out the way and again you can adjust the padding and i think some people say the map from the red Dead project said that if you take padding off it even like there's even more range of motion i don't think it restricts range of motion anyway i've had some vests that have kind of like that boxy shape and sometimes you'll go like that and it actually rubs on the inside of your arms and actually you have to wear like clothes to be able to stop that sort of like chafing that will happen without you really thinking about it, it does restrict your movement because eventually like, oh that's kind of in the way it's pushing so it changes your movement this i find doesn't get in the way but if it somehow does because you might be bigger or whatever else you can take that out and just have the strap so that it doesn't restrict range of motion especially for maybe stuff like the handstand push-up you have that flexibility and that versatility with something else but because the weight is centered and it's locked into place there's no movement you can do the exercise a little bit more freely so really thinking about some of the cons those are really only the ones i can actually think of the price might put some people off there are cheaper options out there and the fact that it does take time compared to say a dip belt to load up the weights and take it off and that the idea of like I said I think it's better having the weight vest on and then loading it than having a weighted vest and then trying to lift it over you which obviously this excels and if you're lifting a large amount of weight unless you're with someone it can be a bit more of a pain in the ass to be able to load heavy weights on this but like I said if you've got a partner or like I said load up the back one put it into a chair sit in the chair pull it up over your head put it all in shuffle it up so it's on your back strap it in then load it at the front and then try and stand up with it it does work so looking at the product itself like i said from my previous video the product has changed quite a lot from the actual overall quality of the build from the first um, easy vest which i had on there compared to what the new one is now it is definitely improved in quality and i think that is then shown probably in the price as well but like i said it comes with a lifetime warranty the amount of products you can now get with it the fact that you've got new bumper plates coming you've got the hydro plates that are coming the fact that you've got metal collars and the overall quality has got better and there's other things that are coming in the future as well plus if you do want a cheaper lighter version they have the easy vest pro now the product itself has changed quite a lot and in my opinion it has got better the overall pros of it are still there it's a great vest better than what i would say normal vest or a plate loaded one or a sandbag one it can hold more weight you can customize the fit so it fits perfectly for you it unlocks exercises like the row the push-up handstand push-up you can still do your normal ones like the pull-up and dips but the fact that it then unlocks your hands to be free so you can do your loop unilateral or sort of leg work the fact that the weights that are used for this are universal and can be used for your other gym equipment or if you go to a gym you can use air once instead of having to buy plates where if you have a typical plate loader vest you've got to have the plate and that's it or sandbags which can't be used for anything else and if you lose them you either can't replace them or you just you're never going to be have that weight again there's so many other pros to this product but like i said comparing this to say loading up a backpack i've loaded up a backpack before it's never comfortable. It always digs in the back of your back and you can't do handstand push up with it. So yeah, that you might be able to find a cheaper version, but if calisthenics is something that is truly important for you and something that you are gonna be doing for the rest of your life or the foreseeable future, and you want a way of 
if you don't want to go down the progressive calisthenics route or maybe you want to have the option to be able to do both you're not going to find a better weight vest than this one but like i said check it out for yourself i have got a comparison video like i said between the pro and the max if you want to go yeah i'm decided on getting one i'm not sure between which one that comparison video i'll leave a link to it down here if you want to have a look at my original kenzu easy vest for you where i go into real detail about why the kenzu easy vest especially i think at the time it was the max is so good and i go into real detail about what are the pros what are some of the other cons if you need more information please check out that video as well if you took value from this video guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want more content like this remember if you check out our link down below take you to the website so you can check out their products and some of the other ones and make sure you use the code ldk to get yourself 20 dollars off without the way guys i'll see you in the next video